Hi, it's me again with Real World Tips and Tricks. Tips on the eraser tool. So, uh, a viewer or subscriber sent me this. He said, you've never really made a video on this. So I thought I'd make a video on it and it's pretty cool. I don't use the eraser tool very much. I have used it. Uh, in laser engraving, there's really no need for it. But if you'll get on the, it's under your crop fly. So that's what it normally looks like. Go down here to eraser. You have round nibs, you have square nibs. You can change the nib size. You can change the pin pressure, which is mean is how fast it's gonna work. Uh, you can rotate it. Now, if you have a square one, see our nib is square. Well, let's rotate it to 45 degrees. And then you have a shorter one. Let me make my nib like two, so maybe you can see it. And if you just start from the outside, you could draw stuff like this all day long. And then when you, if, you, if you like that, go up to object, break the curve apart, and then you have different pieces. So let's go back. The one reason or the one thing I have used on it. So here also we're going to go uh, like, okay, if you look, let's make this nib like 0.5, pretty big. Let's rotate this to like 20. And look at it now, it's at an angle. Now, where that might help, let's actually rotate this to zero. And we get a really thin line. So you could do stuff like this. And you know, come straight down and make, you could actually make letters. But the one thing I have used on it is to make stencils. Let's say if you've got an A and you want, a, the best thing you could do is go to object probably and convert it to a curve. And let's go back to the eraser tool. Let's take away this, um, make it even. Let's make our square square. And that's too big, so we'll make it 0.3. And what you can do to draw a straight line to uh, make it cut through straightly, grab your eraser tool and click right there and then drag it. And you can kind of see that your line's straight and then do like that. That's, that's a stencil font. If we look at it, if you were gonna cut that out, let me get back, make it red. So that, of course they're not, I didn't get perfectly, well, I'm pretty close, but you could always take your nodes and align them. So you could go here and go uh, align nodes vertically and see it just moved it over just a little bit. It made it uh, perpendicular to the other one. Anyway, so play around with the eraser tool. It's pretty cool. Uh, I, I should probably start using it more. I mean, like if we go 45, see how now it's narrowed it down. And then let's go back to 90, but then let's turn this to 25. And see, you get it at an angle. So you could, you know, if you were drawing and wanted wanted to come in at an angle, you know, you could uh, make it look pretty cool. Anyway, that's something you just really have to play with to learn. But I thank that viewer subscriber for reminding me that I've never really done a, a good video. Well, maybe this isn't a good video, but on the razor tool. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.